Hey, Ridge family, we're glad that you're able to tune in for our midweek update. Got a lot going on, so we want to kind of hit the ground running. First of all, just want to remind you, we're going to have baby dedication as we do every year on Mother's Day. This year, it'll be a little bit different. Next Wednesday, a week from today, on May 6th, we're going to record the baby dedication, so we're inviting the parents and grandparents to come. But we need you to call the church office if you're planning to do that by Monday, May 4th at 4 p.m. So please call us. We got a little bit of information we need to get. And so we're going to record it next Wednesday, and then we're going to show it on the, the stream on Mother's Day, May 10th. And so again, but if you like your baby, dedicate it. We're going to do it on May uh, 6th, and again, there won't be anybody here except the people involved with the dedication, so we'll have plenty of room to stretch out and get, have that six-foot distancing here in the sanctuary. So we'd love to have your baby dedicated, so again, let us know by next Monday if you'd like to do that. I think it's always an exciting, special time. And again, reminder, we need some Mother's Day pictures. We're already getting quite a few in, and so we need those by next Wednesday, May 6th about noon so we'd love to have a picture of your mom or maybe you have some generational pictures of moms uh, maybe a way to be creative and to say thanks to your mom so those we're going to show on Mother's Day May 10th so we'd love to have you uh, participate in that as well and so Mother's Day Sunday May 10th is a very special day for us it's a day that we're going to begin to meet back together for worship and many of you will probably need to stay home. It might be safer to stay home, but we are going to open up. And if you didn't get our reminder, we'd love to have that sent to you. So if you did not get an email, something on Facebook, we'd love to get you that information. So let the church know. But just as a reminder, on Mother's Day, May 10th, we're going to have our three services, but they're going to be shorter. We're, going to, we're planning on about 45-minute services, so we have time to sanitize in between each service, so we want to do that. All adults are going to be asked to wear masks. If you have your own mask, we would encourage you to bring your mask. We'll have some masks here if you do not have a mask. But we want to wear the mask not for just so for our safety, but literally for the safety of everyone around. And so if you've never been to a worship service, which I haven't, with everyone wearing masks, you need to come. Bring your camera, get some pictures, get some selfies. It'll be a really special day. Now, children don't have to wear masks. That's up to the discretion of the parents, but all the adults will be asked. And again, we'll have people to help seat everyone. We're going to try to keep everyone uh, six feet apart. We're asking everybody to come through the main doors. And so again, we're going to try to keep it as safe as we can for everyone. There's going to be no child care, nursery, and the, the scary part is no coffee and donuts. I know that's a big shock for some of you. So at least during the month of May, these are all things during the month of May. There's going to be no Wednesday activities during the month of May. So again, we're monitoring it literally day to day, week to week, and things may change as we go forward. But again, our first Sunday of meeting back together will be Mother's Day, May 10th. But please pray if you have any uh, underlying health issues, if you're not feeling well, we want you to stay home. We will still be streaming a service, so you'll still be able to join in at 9.30 on Mother's Day and be able to worship uh, through the stream. So either way, it gives you an opportunity to join together with us. A reminder, our church got some first responder uh, gift cards, and this year we're expanding it to include medical workers. And so if you're a part of the Ridge family and you're a, a part of the first responders, if you're in the medical field, we just want to get you a gift card to say thanks for your service to our community. And so please call the church, come by, and we'll make them available to you. And as we get everyone that's connected with the Ridge family, and I believe we'll have some extras this year because we got uh, about 250 gift cards. So we really got a lot more than usual. We want to make sure that maybe you have a neighbor, a friend, someone that's a first responder or works in the medical field. We want to give you an opportunity to take that by from the church and just let them know that we appreciate 
what they do. So kind of be aware of people around you that you can maybe share one of these gift cards and just as a kind way of loving them through Christ to be able to give that as a way of saying thanks. I just got off the phone just literally shortly before uh, our time. Or it was a text actually from uh, Fred Broom, pastor over at Faith Baptist in Washington, and they're planning on doing some meals for the Franklin County Commission's office on Wednesday, May 23rd. They just want to provide a meal for those in our county who have been kind of leading our county through this time of transition. It's a great way for the church to be able to, again, just share our love, appreciation. The meals will be about $8 a piece. I think there's about 95 people that work in the Franklin County Commission's office. And so if you would like, if that's something God lays on your heart, that you'd like to buy a meal, maybe two meals, or maybe donate something toward that, let us know because we're going to join in with Faith Baptist in Washington and we'd like to be a part of that along with some other churches and just let our county officials know how much we appreciate the work that they're putting in to help our county move forward. So again, that'll be on Wednesday, May 23rd. And so if that's something that you have an interest in, let us know and uh, we'll make sure that we collect the money and we get it over to Fred and we want to be a part of that. Just want to just give you a quick scripture as I think about the book of Esther. You know, we're living through this COVID-19 journey together, and it really is a time unlike any of us have ever experienced. And I think about the words that Mordecai said to Esther here in chapter 4, verse 14. He says, For if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place. And then the end of the verse, he says, Yet who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. And the truth is, I think God has brought us into the kingdom for such a time as this. As crazy as it has been over the last couple of months, I really believe the church has, has risen up to do some great things. And so I just appreciate, I believe God has brought us into the kingdom for such a time as this. Just want to encourage you to keep your prayer partners going. Keep doing those acts of kindness. Use your cell phone and just make those contacts every day. And just begin to lift one another up. I just appreciate all the acts of kindness that God is laying on your heart. And you're following through with. There's so many great stories that again will never ever be seen in public. But God sees and he knows those acts of kindness. And so let's rise up and let's just be the church during these days. It really is an exciting time uh, to live as a believer. Reminder, this Sunday, May 3rd, we'll be joining together at 930 on the stream. And this will be our last time that we're going to stream without meeting uh, personally. And that is unless something uh, spikes and again, they may change the guidelines, but this Sunday, May 3rd, 9.30, we'll be streaming together. And again, even though we're not together physically, we will be together spiritually. And the number we've been giving out, and many of you are using, if you have a question, a comment, if you just have a, a need going on in your life, just need some encouragement, don't hesitate to call or text 636-388. 8771. Again, it goes out to about four or five, six of our staff, and someone will get back to you as quickly as we can. Love you guys. I'm so excited about Mother's Day being able to come together, but please pray. Please prepare, and many of you will worship from home and join us in that way. And so, again, let's continue to pray for God's glory during these days. Love you guys. Look forward to seeing you at some point. God bless.